All right, Fit Mompreneur community, I'm super excited because it's Monday. I'm always excited for Mondays, but um, lots of good stuff to talk about today. And I want to give you all a major shout out for one, being here. If you're catching me live or you're catching this on replay later, just watching shows me the commitment that you have for yourself and you truly want to get better. Um, and, uh, and sometimes I know it's challenging to find time. Um, so fit it in or even just watch a video, but so to me kudos to you if you're watching me either now live If you are live say hi um, If you're catching it replay put replay definitely I would love to, to know like when do you catch these? Um, and uh, And will help me of course continue to bring more and more value to you typically every Monday Around this time I hop in here and, and share something <laughs> And today we're gonna talk a lot about how in the world can you set yourself up for success this week? How can you um, you know, have a better week than you did last week or the week before, maybe a month, right? We all have an opportunity to have a fresh start every single day that we wake up. Every single day that we wake up and are able to get out of bed, we should be grateful and ready to tackle the world, right? Um, and so I'm gonna talk about some tips that I love to share with you and a lot of the ladies that we, uh, we coach as well too. We always encourage a couple specific things I'm gonna share with you guys today uh, as well as a few others. So you can have a good week. I'm also gonna share a really awesome announcement I'm super stoked and excited about. We have something coming um, actually next week here inside this community. It's the first time that we've ever done something like it. Um, and I'm, I'm super excited. It's just gonna bring you so much value and so much knowledge and so much help <laughs> um, if you're in that place where you need help. And then also, you guys, we just wrapped up the squat and high five challenge. And I don't know about you, but I think I've, I've been doing challenges for years in this community. Um, when we first launched it, actually a couple years ago, we've done some rebranding and some changing and we're working on more things to always keep making it better and better and better. But we've done tons of challenges, you guys. This one I think was by far my favorite. So if you did do the squat and high five challenge, tell me below like what was one of your favorite things. Um, to me, it was literally watching you all truly be your biggest cheerleader by simply giving yourself a high five every, sing every single day. Um, I want to encourage you to not stop. Just because the challenge ended does not mean stop being your biggest cheerleader and stop moving your body every single day. So one major kudos, put a high five in the comments. Um, if you did that, um, and it, listen, any challenge we do, cause we will be doing these more regularly, something coming in November for you as well too. Um, as far as challenges goes, we're going to do one once, uh, we do them once a month. Um, and I wanted you to give yourself a major kudos, give yourself a high five in the comments. Maybe it's a selfie. Maybe it's just the emoji high five or just write out the word high five. Either way, that is a habit. Mel Robbins, if you don't follow her, I highly suggest you. I love following her on Instagram, um, highly uh, encourages it. And it's something that's so small. We as women struggle cheering ourselves on. We struggle seeing how value we, how worthy we are. We struggle with um, just feeling proud about ourselves, right? And so that one tiny thing, I highly encourage you to keep it going and keep sharing. Keep sharing it all day every day in here if you want to like i'm going to keep doing it i'm going to show and keep showing and posting some in here as well too um but shout out to all of you guys that did it whether you did one day or you did all seven i cannot stress enough you won no matter what okay we do have one awesome winner that i'm going to announce her name in just a second um and i want you all to give her some love and kudos because she showed up every single day she also went above and beyond and was posting in her stories uh, and tagging me in her, her Instagram and Facebook stories and just putting it out there, putting herself out there and with her with her sweet little baby. Um, and so definitely want to give a major shout out, you guys, um, a major shout out to Morgan Bryant. So give her some congrats in the comments. Morgan Bryant, if you're watching now or maybe you catch this later, I will tag you above this. You are our lucky winner for the squat and high five challenge. You guys, if you don't remember how that worked, it was literally just every single day. We have, I have a team that works behind the scenes that literally every single day, if you commented, you post, even if you just had done, your name went in the, the drawing. And if you posted outside of, of this group and tagged us, you got extra entries. Um, so she definitely racked up the entries that way. And uh, is the winner. You get to go into our Fit Mama Apparel store pick one thing that you want and i'll send it your way um so major kudos to her give her some major congrats and keep it going 
Um, so I want to talk about tips and then I'm going to announce we have a, I'll, I'll give you a little snippet. We're going to have a free masterclass in here starting next week. So if you're not familiar with what a masterclass is, there's so much knowledge and so much, so much for you that we're going to bring. It's going to be a three day event. We're going to talk about all the things. Um, we're going to talk about your faith. We're going to talk about your mindset. We're going to talk about your workouts. We're going to talk about your nutrition. You're going to talk about it all. How in the world can you have fuel yourself for full success is what it's called. So if you want to be, if you want, uh, I'll have a link above this um, and I'm going to go into it in more detail after this, uh, towards the end of this, but I want to just put it out there. We're going to have a free masterclass starting next week in here. I'm so excited. It's the first time we've ever done something as extensive and give out as much information as we're going to give out. Um, and so you can drop the word masterclass below uh, and I'll, we'll drop you the link. You sign up for it. And the reason why we're having you sign up is for the accountability. We're going to send it to you every day. We're going to send you the replays. Um, we're going to send you reminders to make sure that you hop on and all that stuff. So lots of accountability there. I will share more on that towards the end of this so you know what's coming. But what I want to really dive in today is the tips. I promised you tips today on how to set yourself up for a successful week, and that's what I really want to get into now. Um, and so if you had a good week last week or you had a bad week or maybe you had an in-between, either way, we as women are typically um, are typically really, really, really good at seeing what we didn't accomplish last week. Um, and if you're guilty of this, put guilty in the comments. I, we all are. I do it all the time. I, I, even with multiple coaches and mentors behind the scenes that always work with me. Um, I still always focus on the shortcomings and have to really work hard to redirect my mind to focus on what I did accomplish. Focus on what did happen. Focus on the positive things going on. Not just the negative, right? So I've got nine things that I'm going to share with you today. To set yourself up for a successful week, I'm looking at this one week at a time, you guys. It's the same thing, what we do in our 12-week one-on-one um, programs, we, we focus on one week at a time. Why? Because we want you to master one thing first before you add on to something else. And I want you to look at this that same way. I don't want to look at all of last month or all of last year. I want you right now, the very first tip that I'm going to share with you to have in a successful week is to take a little bit of time to reflect. A little bit of time to reflect on last week okay and so what I want you to do right now is think about this or do it later if you need to come back to this where you can actually write things down but I always encourage you write things down or just drop it in the comments as as I ask you the first thing is reflect on last week okay and before you let your mind go totally crazy thinking where oh my gosh I only got one day of the squat challenge instead of all seven I suck you don't suck so you got to get that out of your mind and out of your mouth okay um, but when you're reflecting on last week, the first thing that I want you to do is look at your wins. So if you're listening right now and you could automatically think, okay, last week I, let's look at a win first. Okay. You have to reflect on your week, see what you won at. What did you do good at? What are you proud of? And then celebrate yourself for it. It does not have to be uh, focusing on, oh my gosh, on your scale. It doesn't have to be focused on um, inches you lose. It doesn't have to be focused on how many sales you made in your own business. Those of you guys that are also entrepreneurs or work a business or whatever it is that you do, right? So first tip, reflect on last week, but I want you to really think hard. And where did I win at? What did I do good? What am I proud of? Maybe it's, I did one day of the squat challenge and that is more than I've been, do been doing in months. That's a win, y'all, and you have to see your wins. And sometimes it's harder, but it's very imperative for you to see that. It's gonna help boost your confidence along this way, along this journey. It's gonna help you see that you are capable of juggling and having it all and doing it all, okay? You can have success, you can have the body that you want, you can have the energy you want, you can have the relationships you want, you can have all things. It's a mindset, okay? So shift, look what you did last week and where did you win? If you're comfortable, drop it in the comments and let us know and celebrate. Let us celebrate with you, but also celebrate yourself, okay? And then the second tip is we're still reflecting here at this first part, okay? The second tip, the second thing that I want you to do is as you're looking at last week, okay? Remember, we're only doing one week at a time here. As you're looking at last week, 
what did you struggle with? And know that it, I'm saying don't obsess over what you fell short on. It's okay though to reflect and say, okay, where did I fall short? Where did I struggle? Maybe I struggled, those of you guys that are tracking macros or working with us on any of that, maybe, you know what, I really struggled hitting my protein. Or maybe I really struggled on just tracking my food, period. Or maybe I really struggled with saying no every time somebody brought donuts or treats or something to the office. Or wherever you struggled. Uh, or, or I struggled with finding time to even get the ten, or even get the twenty squats in that you guys encourage us to do. Guys, I know a lot of women that have expressed expressed that to me as I'm checking in on you. Some of you guys didn't even find uh, find time to get twenty squats in. Okay, so if that is something you struggled with, this is what I want you to do with that. It's information, it's knowledge, it's reflecting, it's awareness. Think about it, and then ask yourself, okay. What can I do better so that I don't have that same struggles this week? Yeah, Tanya, I made uh, time for extra movement and need to focus on my water intake again. Yes, we're going to actually talk about that one in a minute too when it comes to the nu nutritional piece. So you already know what you need to focus on with that. You're ahead of the game, Tanya. Okay, so again, while you're reflecting, first two pieces of this, what did I do good? I want to celebrate myself. Give myself a pat on the back. Give yourself a high five. Go right now. I'm high five me right now from here. High five yourself. Second thing, reflect and see, okay, where did I struggle and how can I not struggle this week with that same exact thing? Be aware of what you struggled with and change it. You have the power to change it. You have the power to take control. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody else is going to make you do squats. Nobody else is going to make you um, do, you know, go for a walk. Nobody else is going to make you say no to the donut. Nobody, nobody else but you. It's up to you, okay? But it's very, very important. This one is very, very, very important to not obsess over where you fell short on. Beat yourself up. Get in this ugly cycle of now, I, now okay, I didn't do good. Oh my gosh, now I suck. And then you beat yourself up and now you start feeling bad and your worth goes way down in your own mind. In your own mind, remember. And then your motivation, everything is affected. Don't do that, okay? Num number three, the number three tip here goes along with all of it. You gotta let your shortcomings go. Let it go, just like Elsa. <laughs> Those of you guys, can, I know y'all can all relate, a lot of you guys. <laughs> My little girl used to be obsessed with Elsa. She's over it now, but you guys, tip number three is let it go. Let your shortcomings go. Okay, so drop, let it go in the comments. If this is something you know you need to do, we all do, let it go. The past is the past, last week is last week. It's good to reflect and figure out where did I win? I wanna repeat that, where did I fall short? I don't wanna do that again, I wanna make it different this week. And then I gotta let go of those shortcomings. Do not bring those shortcomings from last week into this week. You can't. That's going to, that's going to really big time affect your mindset, your motivation, your feelings of worthiness, your everything will be affected if you bring it over into this week and you obsess over where I fell short, where I didn't do what I needed to do. Yeah, Tanya, we all do. do it. Let it go. Type it in the comments as many times as you need to, but let it go. Okay. That's one of the biggest pieces to carry over into having a successful week. You guys, if y'all are just new to following anything myself or Coach Anita or Coach Lori do here at Fit Mama Coaching, we, yes, we guide you through your nutrition, we guide you through your fitness, we write your workouts for you, we do all that stuff in our programs. If that's something you need, reach out or put info below, we'll share you. But I will tell you, the very first thing you have to do is shift this right here. It all starts right here. So let it go. Let it go it go. I love it, Karen. Karen says it's gone. Good. Yes. That means it's going to be an amazing week. And then you shift your mindset to be like, it's going to be an amazing week. It's going to be an amazing week. We've had a ton of just stressful sadness and things going on in our life uh, and our family and different things going on. And I woke up this morning. I was like, you know what? It still hurts and all the things going on, but it's going to be an amazing day. I'm making a choice. It's got to be an amazing day. And there's only one person that's going to make it amazing. And that's me because I have control. Nobody else does except for God, of course, right? Okay, so you're letting it go. That's tip number three. Tip number four is you have to plan your health like you plan your business or like you plan your kids' sports, your kids' events, your kids' anything, okay? How many of us can honestly say that you put your workouts, you put your health, you put your meal planning, you put your anything 
on the calendar like you do your kids' practice times or your kids' sports events or your business meetings or whatever it is that you've got all over your calendar. If you if you follow a calendar, do you truly put your health, your workouts, your time to be still, your time to just sit and and be you? Put yes in the comments if you do and put no in the comments if you don't. I will tell you I used to I used to say no. I used to I, my answer would used to be no. And after a few years now of having mentors and coaches and still always do, one of the biggest things the, co- the my coaches are really working hard with me is productivity means you got to schedule it. You've got to schedule it. But then the bigger piece to scheduling yourself into your own calendar, you guys, if you don't schedule yourself into your own calendar, guess what's going to happen? Everybody else's life everybody else's emergencies, everybody else's need to's is going to take over your schedule faster than you think. Yeah, Marietta, do it. Put it on your calendar, girl. Karen, second week of doing this game changer. It is a game changer, you guys. I cannot even stress enough. I can show you a screenshot of my calendar now. uh, And it's, you know, my workouts are in there. I work out crazy early, so nobody can book anything uh, on those times anyway, but I put it in there anyway. It is there. It is there. And then we all, I, you know, we use a, an app as well, too, that your workouts are there and our clients, like, we, you check it off. And then we can go in and see, did you do it? Did you not? We check off. You got to drink water today. Check it off. <laughs> you got to do your mindset time. Check it off. You know, I even have meditation and prayer and drinking my water and getting steps in my workout all, and foam rolling all on my own calendar to check it off. We, a lot of times, and this may not be everybody's personality, but I know myself and I know a lot of us women, our personalities usually have to do with checklists, right? Or we're going to follow that schedule. It may not work out perfect. You got to be flexible if it's on your calendar. If something happens, you got a sick kid, life happens, stress hits, work hits, all the things, guys, because it happens. One, you can't beat yourself up. You just have to be adaptable. Maybe move it on your calendar or maybe click those buttons in our app, those of you guys that are in our programs, and say, move to another day. Move it. Don't erase it. Just be adaptable, though. You have to learn to plan your health like you plan everything else in your life. We as women are really typically good at planning everybody else's stuff. But we don't plan ourselves. Why? Why is that? I want to change that. Let's change it. Karen, you're already a proof example. Second week of doing this and it's a game changer. You know, you put it on your calendar. So if you're someone who has to work out later in the day or maybe it's at lunchtime or whatever, wherever it lies in your calendar, put it in your calendar so nobody can put anything in your calendar. But then the key is, is you have to stick to it. Okay, stick to it. Just whether you lose a pound or not this week, you will, feel good at, you will feel so good about yourself. It's so powerful that you can just check it off and look back at your week and say, yep, I did that. 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 I check, 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 check. If you're like our, our uh, a lot of our, I, th- I thrive off of like, I want to check things off. Sometimes I'll even add it to my to-do list so I can mark it out because it feels good. <laughs> Tell me I'm not alone here. Anybody else put me in the comments. So plan it, you guys. Put it in your calendar, but then you have to stick to it make it re- realistic in your calendar right um very important okay so that's number four plan it plan it plan it plan it number five is challenge yourself to shift your mindset shift your mindset from i don't have time okay how many of you guys con- how many of you guys find yourself saying i don't have time i don't have time i don't have time Put, I don't have time in the comments if that's you. And know that it's okay. Um, nobody's judging you here because we all say it. But I want to challenge you this week to pay attention to it. How often, if you're struggling right now finding time for yourself for food, water, nutrition, workouts, mindset time, anything, um, I want to highly encourage you to challenge yourself to make the biggest mindset shift that can be a big game changer, uh, such as not no longer saying I don't have time. If you catch yourself saying, I don't have time, be aware, okay? Okay, yours is, I ran out of time. Yeah, I mean, very similar, same same concept, right? 
if you find yourself saying that, be aware and then shift yourself quickly, shift yourself. You're like, I ran out of time or I don't have time. I will make time. You have to shift it to I will. Instead of I don't, I will. I will make time. So if you run out of time, for example, and you put an hour on your calendar for a workout, you remember my, remember one of the biggest things I can, I'd love to help you all shift your mindset is knowing something is always better than nothing. So maybe if you do run short on time, maybe you run over a little bit at work or running late from the kids or whatever you got going on, right? Whatever it is, if you run over and you, you don't get your full workout time in, do something anyway. Maybe it's 20 squats. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's going for a 10 minute walk. Maybe, maybe that's all you got in. Remember, it's always better than nothing. Even if you're going to a gym or something, you're going elsewhere to do it. I, there, there's many times, um, I've seen some will like, I'm going to go anyway. I'm going to go in and maybe it's only 10 minutes. I'll have a walk on the treadmill, but it's better than nothing. You always remember that. So if you're short on time and you can't get the whole thing, don't skip it all together. Just do something small. Okay, or like last week, 20 squats at your desk. 20 squats while you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> it's always better than nothing. So challenge yourself right now. If I, if I say I don't have time, be aware of it. Maybe tally mark it. You'll be shocked. Tally mark it. I've had some women actually even tally mark it on their hands so it's a reminder and they can physically see it. Or get a uh, rubber band. You can even put a rubber band on your wrist. You guys, I've got one right here. And every time if I catch myself saying something bad, ow, that kind of hurts. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again if I'm going to pop myself every time I say it. Make the mindset shift. I, ha I will make time. 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 Yeah, it keeps the momentum. 100%, Anita. For sure. It keeps your momentum. If you can't do a full hour, it's all good. Do 10 minutes of a walk, 20 squats. You did something. And you can, at the end of the week, look back and think, yes, I may not have gotten to the gym every day. I may not have gotten my full hour workouts in every day. But you know what? I got something every single day. And there goes your confidence boost. Boop. Now it's up. Now, now the next week is going to be even better. Boop. And it keeps going up, 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 up. Okay. A um, few more things here. Commit. Number six, I want you to commit to something for your fitness. Okay, we're going to break this down into fitness. We're going to break it into mindset. We're going to break it down into food. Okay, so first I want to talk about your fitness. And I would love for you to think about this for a second. Okay, and commit to something for your fitness this week. You notice I'm saying something. I'm not saying you have to commit to an hour a day. It's not realistic for a lot of people. And I get it. Maybe it's 30 minutes a day. Maybe you don't even put a time on it, you guys. Commit to something. What will you do this week either what or let's say how many workouts will you do this week guys and remember workout can be a 10 minute walk or workout can be a full-blown hour in the gym it is whatever fits into your season of life that you're in right now commit to something for fitness so i want to ask you now if you're watching how many days or how many workouts will you commit to getting in this week for yourself drop the number in the comments below i will tell you minus five I'm committing to five, and that's even with some travel that I'm going that I'm doing at the end of the week. So I'll have to shift some stuff, and that's okay. I'm gonna make it happen anyway. So how commit to it? How many workouts will you do this week? Say it out loud, put it somewhere you can see it visibly, put it inside this group. Okay, put it in the group and let us love on you and let's let us hold you accountable. Guys, there's so much power behind you saying it out loud to someone else. Have that accountability. Accountability is everything. To me, it's the glue of the whole thing. Looking forward to have to do them and then post. Yes, post. Yes, I'm so glad that you said that, Brandy. Post in here. I would challenge you all every time you do a workout to post in here. Every, every time you do it, post your selfie, post a picture of you working out, or just post the words done. Did it. Workout number three, done. Okay, if you did one today already after this video, pop in here and say workout number one, done. Do it. There's so much power by saying it out loud. So I wish... I, want, I would love for you guys to just keep doing it. You don't, don't wait for a challenge for us to post. That's what this group is for. It's accountability um, on a whole nother level, right? So commit to something. I love it. Plus a walk on day six. Bernice, I love it. Five days a week. Karen, five good, intense, fully focused workouts are happening this week. Yes, they are happening. You're saying it out loud. In your, you're speaking it into existence, Karen. That means it's going to happen. I can't wait to hear when you do. Okay, so that's your committing to something fitness, right? Now I want to talk a little bit about mindset. 
Number seven is commit to something for mindset this week. Okay, if you already have something, share below what it that is that you do, right? And some people are like, I don't even know what to do, Angela. What the heck can I do for my mindset? How do I make it positive? How do I shift my mind every day? It's it's daily habits. You know, I'll tell you a lot of a lot of what our our women do in our programs. Um, it's different for everybody. Everybody is everybody is fueled by something different when it comes to your mindset. Okay, but. I want you right now to commit to something and share below what it's going to be. I, I don't want to ask you how many days commit to something for your mindset because I highly encourage you doing something every day for your mindset. Just figuring out what that's going to be. Okay. Last week's challenge was squats. That's your fitness. High five is a mindset habit. You guys, there's power behind high fiving yourself in the mirror saying, hey, or you don't have to say anything. Just high fiving and looking at yourself in the mirror will give you a positive um, feeling about yourself. Okay. So mindset can be a high five. Keep it going. Okay. So drop in the comments, what your mindset is going to be. What is that day? What is that habit you're going to do every single day? It can be a high five. Maybe it's meditation. You guys, that's something new. I'm like on day 18, I think in a row. I'm actually craving the heck out of it now. I actually love it. Something that I've always wanted to do, but I never committed to it because I was feared <laughs> say, uh, got guided ones now. It's actually really awesome. So meditating, maybe journal. How many of you guys journal? Okay. You can do gratitude journaling. You can reflect at the end of every single day. What went well, something I'm, I've been, um, working on podcasts. Maybe it's podcasts. Maybe it's watching a video. Guys, we have so many videos in this group. You could watch something every single day and never run out of stuff. Uh, or we have our podcast, the fit mama podcast, uh, fit mama health talk. Uh, I mean, a lot of trainings get uploaded there as well, too. If you're someone that maybe doesn't want to catch a video in a Facebook group, you can go watch, uh, listen to a lot of replays actually on the podcast. Okay. So commit to something for mindset. What will you do to calm your mind and keep control of your thoughts? Gratitude journaling. I love it. Bernice. Yes. Brandy, the masterclass. Well, I'll put the link above. You guys can all sign up for it. Um, so you can not miss a thing. I love it. Podcasts. I love, I love podcasts as well too. I'm a, I'm a YouTube junkie as well. I'm so, so many motivational videos. Um, yeah, Jamie, try meditation. Like I've got a, an app. There's an app called calm or I'm actually using one called impact timer. I think that's what it's called. I'll, I'll post the screenshot above after this. Yeah. I love YouTube too. I've got so many subscriptions. <laughs> there's so many amazing videos. Um, Impact timer, I believe, is what it's called. A lot of guided free meditation stuff that you can you can listen to. It's 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 phenomenal. So I'm I'm definitely a huge fan. I wish I had started a long time ago. So commit to something every single day for your mind, even if it's nothing but a but a high five. Tanya, morning gratitude in the Growth Day app. Amen to that girl. I love the Growth Day app. It's so awesome to hear that you're a part of it too. Uh, that's sometimes that's what some of the trainings in there from the coaches uh, in there I listen to on a on a regular basis. Okay, so here's the next thing. Two more things here, you guys, and, uh, and I'll wrap you wrap it up, I promise. Um, hey, now, one of the other big pieces that I want you to think about is your nutrition. And I want you to think of one thing you can commit to this week for your nutrition. Not striving to be perfect, not going from where you crappy nutrition, where you're just not eating at all, or maybe eating dry food five times a week or whatever. Whatever your nutrition currently looks like, I want you to commit to one thing this week to make your nutrition better. Okay, and what can that be? Tanya already mentioned water. Maybe if you don't hydrate enough, there's a perfect one to start with. How much water are you drinking a day? Okay, so there's, you know, I, I, always, I always strive to try to get at least 80 ounces uh, up to a gallon. But if you're someone that like, I'm good, to, I'm lucky if I even get a, a, a bottle in a day, then I challenge you to go to two bottles this week. Okay, you got to baby step it. Don't go from... Uh, one bottle to eight bottles, like that's a lot, and your body will be, it'll be a struggle. Okay, um, give yourself grace and take the baby steps. Don't do it all at once. It's usually what will set you up for failure if you try to tackle everything at one time. So one thing for nutrition this week, you guys, what can that be for you? Where have you been struggling in nutrition? Is it just simply getting started, or is it simply like I don't, I haven't been planning my meals? which leads me into food emergencies, which leads me into starving myself and not eating at all, or maybe going through a drive through at lunch instead. What does that look like for you? Okay. A couple ideas can be maybe it's meal prep. If you're not meal prepping at all, I highly encourage you at least meal prepping the, the meals that you struggle with most. Maybe that's lunch. 
Okay. Maybe it's planning your dinners. You maybe, maybe you don't necessarily, I'm not, most of us don't necessarily like meal prep dinners, but we, I love to plan them knowing, okay, I already know what I'm cooking tonight. Cook fish for dinner. Uh, what's going to be tomorrow. You know, planning them can take a lot of stress out of your life. Um, uh, but meal prepping is everything. I love it. Avoiding temptation. Yeah. Avoid it like the plague. Whatever you got to do. If you see somebody coming in the office with donuts, then turn around and go the other way. Hi, bye, I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't allow yourself to smell them and be around them. And, it's, and, and, and it'll, it'll lead you to the, you know, caving into temptations. So meal prepping is, is one. Maybe it's tracking your food. If you've never tracked your food, we, I love tracking food. Well, I, I can't say that I love it, but I will tell you, it's what helps a lot of us stay on track. And it's hard to really know what's going in your mouth if you don't track it. Um, I know in our programs, we do a lot of food tracking so that we as coaches can actually look at your food with you and guide you, teach you, tell you what to do, how to make it better and all the things. So maybe it's tracking your food. Maybe it's planning your dinners. Maybe you're someone who's eating out five times a week and your one thing to focus on this new, on uh, this week on nutrition is to limit that down to one or maybe none, right? Whatever whatever you can do. Guys, remember this is your journey, your pace, your race. It's not comparisonitis to in, in comparitis into everyone else and what they're doing. It's you. It's your journey. Nobody else's. Okay. So commit to one thing this week for nutrition. What is that? Share them below if you've got it. I know we've got avoid temptation. Um, maybe it's drinking water. Maybe it's Maybe it's just avoiding Cokes. If you're someone who's like, I'm drinking Coke every day again. Crap, I totally kicked this habit and then I somehow ended up drinking them again. What's going on? Focus on that. Don't focus on trying to be perfect in your food yet. Just focus on one thing. I promise it'll make a difference. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm gonna say here is just have discipline to stick with what you commit to. Those of you guys that shared with us, what are your temptations? I will, uh, or what are your, uh, what are the things that you're gonna commit to with your mindset work every day? What is that fitness piece going to look like for you? Okay. And what is that one thing in nutrition you're going to focus on this week? One thing at a time, ladies, one thing. And maybe the idea of thinking of fitness and nutrition is too much. It's cool. Just focus on nutrition. Go to nutrition first. You can get really amazing results and start feeling really good by starting to change your nutrition even before you put your workouts in. I promise. Okay. So the last little piece of this, the last tip is have discipline to stick with what you are committing to. So post in here what that's going to be. What what are what is that one thing that you're going to commit to this week in each area um, to be your one step that are going to that are going to allow you to reflect when we when we come in here on Friday and say, "Hey, what what are your wins this week? Let's talk about them. Let's win. Let's celebrate together." What are those things that you can do so that Friday when we say, "Hey, what are your wins?" you're like, "I can't wait to share because I'm so proud of myself I did this." That's what we want you to feel. That's what you should feel. Okay, keep it simple. Stop overthinking everything and following 20 different people and different diets and 20 different things, trying to figure out all these rules of all these different crazy diets that is overwhelming and then causes you to have total, you know, uh, information overload. And then you, then you just feel paralyzed. It's like, I don't even know where to start. Unfollow all that stuff, you guys. You figure out what's best for you, of course. Follow the one thing. Stop overthinking it um, and stop trying to do it all at once. Remember, this is a lifelong journey, not an overnight success. This is something even when you reach your weight loss goal or whatever it is you're trying to reach, the journey doesn't end there. The journey is an everlasting lifelong journey to continue feeding yourself. You don't reach your, you don't reach the weight on the scale that you want to reach. And then all of a sudden I'm done. I don't have to meal prep ever again. I don't have to eat. I mean, I don't have to eat period. I'm going to feel good the rest of my life. That is not true. And <laughs> we all know that's not true. So we have to look at it and change the habits and change how we look at things and all and instead of just a quick diet. Right. So again, um, the big announcement today was our upcoming uh, masterclass. It's a three day free masterclass. Um, it's going to be called Fuel for Full Success. Um, our, my goal is to break it down. There's going to be three days. So if you sign up for it, we'll send you the emails. We'll make sure that you have the notifications. We make sure you send out replays to you. We'll make sure that you have it all. Okay. And, uh, and catch it at your own time if you're not to be 
not able to uh, be live. I'll announce the times as it gets closer, um, but it's going to be next week, starting next Wednesday. But we're going to talk about how to fuel your body, your mind uh, for success in business, for success in mom life, motherhood, no matter if you've got teeny toddlers or grown kids in college. We'll talk about um, how to fuel your, your body, your mind, your spirit for business success, for mom life success, for faith, to get closer to your faith. Guys, that's been a life changer for me. So I have felt really called to bring that more and talk about it more, be open about it more. So if that's something that you're feeling need uh, to talk about, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about your food, how to fuel your body to have success so that you can uh, and I mean success in everything, success on the scale, success in losing belly fat and losing weight, but also success in your business, success in what it is you're trying to tackle, um, how to have uh, success in your overall health. You guys, how to make the mindset shifts, what to eat, how to how to lay out your day to avoid burnout, to avoid um, losing everything and just not being able to focus on it, right? So again, that's a free masterclass starting that uh, next week. Signups start now just for the notification pieces of it, guys. Again, it's a free masterclass. Um, sign up though so that you don't miss anything. And uh, you guys, that's all I got. You guys have an amazing day. And go back and watch the tips if you are just hopping on. Um, and let's have an amazing week. Do do whatever you commit to, follow through. Um, I will put the link above this in just a second. As soon as I hop off, I'll put the link above this video. Uh, I'll send it to you as well, uh, Marietta, where to sign up for. Um, and uh, y'all have an amazing week. I cannot wait to see you continue posting what you're doing, continue posting your workouts and all this stuff. And then come Friday when we say, hey, what are your wins this week? I want to see so many of you guys sharing your wins and what you are proud of because you set yourself up for success. So you guys have an amazing day and uh, we'll all chat soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you got some value from it. Make sure you subscribe here to my channel so you don't miss a thing. You can also follow me and many other amazing women over on the live network for women uh, and catch me on all my social media platforms at www.acfitmama.com and I'll see you on the next video.